Sean Collins, 3M Technical Service Engineer. I'm here to talk about matching some of the seam sealer and sound bending pad appearances that we find on to many of today's vehicles. One of the common things that we hear from technicians in the field is it's difficult to match sound deadening pads that are actually liquid applied sound deadeners from the factory. So those are sprayed into, for example, the trunk or floor area on a vehicle. Toyota is well known for this in their trunk floor area. So those are sprayed in at a high pressure to create different appearances. You may see an appearance such as this that's kind of a rough, stippled looking appearance, or an appearance like this that has kind of a chattered appearance, or an appearance like this which is actually marks from when they spray that into the trunk area. And you'll notice these aren't real pretty looking patches or pads, um, but this is what they look like from the factory and that's what technicians are having difficulty matching is that rough looking texture or appearance. There's a couple ways we can create this. Uh, there's a couple of things that we can attach these to. So we can actually apply seam sealer to these products uh, to create that appearance. And one of them is our flexible plastic repair patch. So this is typically used on bumper repairs. It's got a release liner on the back side. So we can scuff and use a, a cleaner on this surface and prepare it, apply our sound dead, our sound dead or seam sealer, and then match that appearance. We can also use our sound deadening pads. These are actually large pads. They come in a 19 inch by 19 inch pad. But we can cut this down to whatever size we need to make our patch to duplicate. So I'm going to show you how to duplicate that patch with this sound deadening pad. So again, you can cut this to any size to match the exact size of the patch on the vehicle. So oftentimes it's a patch about this size, the corners may be rounded a little bit, we can cut the corners down. Now there is a, a real thin liner on the top of this that needs to be peeled off. I've already peeled that off. There's also a release liner on the back side that we're going to leave on until we actually attach it to the vehicle. So once I've got my patch cut to the desired size, I'm going to use some, some cleaner and a Scotch-Brite pad and scuff the surface down and rough it up to give it a little tooth for the adhesion the uh, adhesive or the sealer to bond to. We would let this then flash off for five or 10 minutes. Once that's flashed off, the product I'm choosing to use for this particular application, because it's a heavy body product and we can put all the, the marks or stipples or whatever texture we want in it, it's gonna hold that texture. So I'm using our 8308 heavy body seam sealer. I've already uh, equalized the cartridge and pre-prepared it. So now I'm going to extrude just a little bit of product just to make sure it's flowing properly. I've got an even mix. Now it may help to actually apply a little bit of tape and tape this down and hold it in place while you're applying the uh, seam sealer. I'm not going to do that right now because I want to be able to lift this up. You can see the DMS applicator does an excellent job in quickly applying the product. It would be much more difficult to do that with a hand applicator and take much longer. So it really simplifies the process. Now keep in mind again, this does not have to be a perfectly looking uh, flattened out type of a patch because from the factory they have a very rough appearance. So now I can do a number of things as I mentioned. I can take a scotch Bright pad and I can blot this to give it a real rough textured appearance. Or I can again spread this out flat and give it that liquid applied appearance where I go back and forth. So just putting some small grooves in there that look exactly like they look from the factory. Then after my seam sealer has all cured up, I would lift this up, peel that liner off, and apply it right to the trunk or the floor of the vehicle, and I would have a patch that exactly duplicates the factory appearance. For more tips like this, see our website at 3mcollision.com. 
visit industrialgeneralstore.com to learn more.